This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today's is a very special topic, a fun topic, because we're still in this Christmas season, Christmas fever, Christmas emotions of 2020, which are bubbling and rumbling all over the place. So today I will be showing you uh, the lockdown Christmas presents I got this year. Lockdown for not being able to say something else with the Q word. All right, but before we get to it, I would like to ask you to please consider subscribing to my channel if you watch my videos anyway, because only like 8% of you watching me anyway are subscribed to my channel. So push that subscription button and the notifications button to get notified whenever new live streams and videos get uploaded. Also, you can become a member of my channel so you can join today. The join button is next to the subscription button. You get special extra perks if you do, as well as special perks if you become a patron. I would like to thank my patrons, Super Deco Ball Spell Together and Patreon, and my members for the support and love. Now, what I got this lockdown Christmas, it's it's funny. I mean, some things are funny, some things are serious, uh, but it's, it's really, 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 uh, it's a weird year. <laughs> so let's begin with, I got myself au noir. Uh, it's mostly stuff I got myself, really, just because, you know, it's, that it is, it's tis the season. Everybody's alone on lockdown. What else are you gonna do? I got myself a noir uh, from Dior because, um, I mean, I love it, but also because I am worried that they might discontinue it again. And I thought, okay, now is the time because this is a warm season fragrance and I'm gonna, I'm not going to buy it in, in spring and summer. I mean, who am I kidding? If I don't get it now and then they discontinue it in spring, summer, I'm going to bite myself for not having gotten it because I do love it so much. So this one arrived just a day or two before Christmas. So that's one of them. And I'm already using it up a lot because I really like it so much. Then I got these two little babies. These were presents. I got the two... Um, Powder blushes from Chanel, 72 Rose Initial and 430 for Skia Rosa. Because I am hooked on these blushes, like hooked. I, I, I can't, I can't tell you. They smell of roses. A lot of people don't like their makeup with uh, perf perfumed makeup, but I love the fact that uh, these blushes have this beautiful rose smell mixed with makeup powder smell and these two colors are just amazing so actually all of their colors are amazing I'm just probably gonna collect all of them sooner or later they're just divine divine yes a guy can wear them a girl can wear them a woman can wear them a man can wear them a kid can wear them they're just so naturally looking now you don't have to get the glittery ones. You get the natural look. They're just, it's amazing. Really, really amazing. I just, uh, why, where were they all my life? Why didn't I realize this sooner? Anyway, never too late for Chanel. Never too late to discover something new from Chanel. Then I got myself a, a blush brush from Chanel, which is amazing. I actually use it today. I have a little bit of blush under my eyes. A different blush. I have Malice on. Uh, then a very dear friend of mine um, who might be watching... And if you are, thank you so much, uh, Andy. Andreas Zombic, by the way, I will link his Instagram uh, profile under this video. He's an artist, Zombic77. This is the logo. And he does art. I mean, but also does fan art. Like, so in this case, he made some t-shirts, uh, which, oops, just a little present fell out of it, which I thought I put away, but so, this this is uh, these these are his drawings and sketches and designs and then uh, he prints them on t-shirts and um i just love his art this is so beautiful so um andreas zombic as i said i will link in the description box down below um how you can contact him in case you want to purchase something from him so he gave me this t-shirt then He also gave me this one. I'm loving it. Just look at that landscape. There's something so 
reassuring about his work, but also so brutal and scary. I love it. I love it so much. And then he gave me a third one. Look how gorgeous this one is. Little totem pole. Of course, this one, I guess, I guess it's still doable for, uh, for YouTube. <laughs> but he can go more hardcore than this usually. But uh, this is so beautiful. Loving this. This is like, to me, like a symbol of like, you know, when you're self-destructive, when you just ask yourself a thousand questions and you just think you're just going around in circles and you just don't know how to break out of that pattern of just inflicting pain upon yourself by thinking, oh, I'm not worth anything. Oh, I'm not going to do this. I can't manage this. I can't manage that. The self-doubt eating at you. That's this. And like, it kind of also shows you the desperation behind it, but also how you have to battle against it. You have to fight against your own self. I, I, I love this piece. Love it. Thank you so much, Andy. And I got a little crystal as well. This is adorable. A little Jean-Paul Gaultier crystal. Where's the logo? There's a, there it is. See it? For a necklace. It's like etched or cut, you know? It's like the dark crystal from Jim Henson. Thank you so much, Andy. Then um, 2020 was the year of the lockdown, but 2020 to me is also the year of Baby Yoda. Um, 2019 was also, but 2020, expecting season two. Mm. So I got myself a Lego Baby Yoda. How cute is he? Oh, I love him. So I built myself my Baby Yoda, my Grogu. Um, look at him with his little ball from... Uh, Mando's ship. And uh, so what is so funny about this baby Yoda, it took forever to build because it's all the same color of his little outfit, but he's just so adorable. So to build the the body part is a little bit like everything's the same color. So you gotta not make any mistakes with the Legos, but his head, I mean, you guys, he's just a perfection. Look, he opens his mouth. <laughs> and then he, he smiles and then his ears can go up and then they can also go down just like in the show so cute and the funniest thing so he has a he, he wobbly head right because like you know he can move it like this so of course he can twist his head but um so you can move it a little bit frontal or back and you move it to the front so that you can tilt it backwards. So, so he can look upwards, right? Or if you tilt it more back, you can make him look downwards a little bit. But the funniest thing I realized with the Lego baby Yoda is he's so ghetto. I love it. When he looks to the side and so he's on this swivel thing, like this moving little like a uh, track that moves his head a little bit back and forth. So when you put him to the side, he does the, wait, it's so funny, giggity, giggity, <laughs> it's like, you know, Quagmire from uh, Family Guy, giggity, 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 uh-huh, uh-uh, uh-uh, oh my god, I love him, he's so cute, so this baby Yoda is just adorable, I would definitely recommend him for anybody who likes Legos, it's very relaxing, it also soothes your anxiety if you have it because you're building it slowly, soothing sandy colors and the sandy green as well it just it was really delicious uh, and it takes up a couple of hours of your day so it helps you kind of get back into the zone so baby yoda lego baby yoda but don't leave him on the floor because this if you step on it it's gonna harpoon you the legos are as we all know you don't want to step on a lego on the floor it's gonna hurt like crazy um, then, uh, continuing with Legos, I got myself a little tiny set. I just love more than their spaceships. I like their play sets from Star Wars. So I got the, um, I got Obi-Wan's hut. This will be a fairly easy build, uh, but I do love everything from Tatooine. Tatooine is my favorite planet. 
from Star Wars. I mean, I guess it's almost everyone's favorite planet from Star Wars. But this particular set, I love to bits for one special reason. We get Carrie Fisher back. We get Princess Leia as a miniature hologram that R2-D2 projects to Luke when they're in Obi-Wan, well, projects to Obi-Wan, but Luke gets to see it when they're in Obi-Wan's hut. And she says, you know, help us, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're our only hope. That little tiny hope, uh, Leia as a um, hologram is right here. Little tiny Leia hologram, how cute, Princess Leia. Wait, there she is. In the back, you get to see her better. There. And the second reason is, of course, also this special, the little laser ball that, uh, which is printed, it's not a sticker, that helps Luke train with his lightsaber. Anyway, haven't built it yet. Gonna build it though. It's just so beautiful, and I love the sandy, co again, sandy colors. It's very 2021 for me. All these like sa sandy, beigey, earthy hues and tones, living for them. Now the next, uh, I, I'm a bit late in the game on these two. I'm always really on top of my game, but for some reason, I missed out on these two, so I got them now. Uh, two Mina albums. We were talking about music before. <laughs> that doesn't inspire us. These are incredible two albums. 2018 and 2019, the release. Um, Mina Paradiso, uh, Lucio Battisti songbook. Mina singing Lucio Battisti songs from the seven. I mean, some recordings that she made in the 70s, some uh, in the 80s and 90s, and they've been remastered. And some 80s, particularly some 80s songs, had some, you know, 80s... Um, arrangements happening in them that were a little bit dated so they re-recorded those on her original audio track it's just amazing it's mind-blowing so this is mina you get two cds volume one and volume two and this gorgeous little booklet this is the re-edition of it had i purchased it back in 2018 i would have gotten it as an actual book i bite myself for not having done it i'm looking for the book and i can't find it anywhere um, Mina Fossati is interesting because uh, Fossati has stopped singing for many years and only came out of retirement for Mina. She asked him to do something together and he said, for you, anything. And he wrote this album for her and him. This is the two of them. I love them to death, both of them. I love her more, obviously, because I am a Mina fan since many years. And uh, I love the sadness in her eyes always. She makes me melt. I highly recommend them. Of course, they're in Italian. If you Well, here there's a couple of songs that Mina recorded in Spanish as well as in French. And um, there might be one in English. Yeah, also in English. La Lucio Battisti songs. Uh, these are all in Italian, though. But I love her so much. And somehow Mina, to me, is synonymous with Christmas. I listen to her when... I don't know, during Christmas, because she makes me feel less alone. Uh, then, um, right, okay, so, the uh, well, no, one very important thing from uh, Aisha Ahmed, I got this wonderful book that she illustrated and wrote herself, The Wonderful World of Madge Gill. Uh, so my friend Aisha just made this book. I'll actually post a link to Andreas Zombic and also to Aisha uh, Ahmed, uh, where you can purchase this book because it was just released. And it is a wonderful, wonderful book on the life of artist Madge Gill. And uh, Aisha wrote the text and did all the illustrations herself. So this is a wonderful, wonderful book about a wonderful and interesting artist made by a wonderful and interesting artist. So thank you so much, Aisha. This is a wonderful, wonderful Christmas present that I got from my friend Aisha. Now, Last but not least, well, there are two more things that have, because of the lockdown, the posts are not working, stuff is not working, so two things that have been ordered a long time ago have not, not arrived yet. They will arrive, though, eventually, I guess in a week or two, so I'll, I guess I'll make an extra unboxing video when those two things arrive, but that would be it for now, except for one more crazy thing I got, which, my god. 
I got you guys. Now, you know I love my Chucky. The good guys. I haven't unboxed him yet. I'm going to do it. I got actual Chucky from Seed of Chucky. From Chick or Treat Studios. He's still wrapped in... But look at him. He's so dangerous. And he's so angry that he's inside this box. He wants to get out of this box as soon as possible. He is the life-size Seed of Chucky Chucky doll. Uh, time to raise some hell. You know I love my... A child's play movies and I love Chucky so much he looks incredible already through the plastic bag he's just so scary I mean he's angry look at him you gotta love Chucky and seed of Chucky is my favorite from the franchise so this thing is huge as you can see Rup. Great artwork on the sides. You have his face there. Uh, on the back. Get a load of Chucky. I'm Chucky, the killer doll. And I dig it. Yes, you do, girl. And then the other side. I think they're also... So, they're coming out... <laughs> I love that the, at the bottom it says, contains one killer doll. right there and at some part of the box it should say because they're making trick-or-treat studios is making the whole family so chucky tiffany and glenn his son slash daughter they're making all three of them from seed of chucky so this box somewhere should say collect the whole family Oh, there it is, in the front, here at the bottom. Collect the whole family. Well, uh, whew, that's, that's one heavy box, let me tell you. So, guys, that was it. Now, we are in the live um, chats because uh, this uh, video is being recorded live. So, I'm going to read some of your comments. Baby Yoda and Jacob are going to read your comments. What do you guys think? And also, what did you get for Christmas? I will remember 2020 is the year of solitude, says Red Cupid Bowlips. We deserve to spoil ourselves. Glad you got some lovely things for yourself. Thank you so much, Red Cupid Bowlips. Melly says, cool shirts and designs. I'm going to start following him. Yeah, you should, Melly. He's amazing. George says, so dark, but I love that. Oh my God, Baby Lego Yoda... <laughs> Look at him. I mean, ah, he's like smiling at you. Like, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> you guys. You have this little fella. First of all, you build him. So it's in a way you give him birth. Like you, you create him. And then he loves you. Like he looks at you and immediately your mood is elevated. Like how can you, you know what I mean? This is, this is the 2020 mood booster just baby yoda is just pure love you know so he definitely helped me in 2020 a lot <clears throat> george says does deco believe in the healing powers of crystals or is that all just a bunch of hocus pocus i believe in in the power of natural crystals um power healing power i don't know i you know even coca-cola can heal you if that's your drug you know what i mean it's about what you believe in what you love i have dealt with crystals in the past for artistic reasons, and they are beautiful. I, you know, to me, crystals are like creatures. I don't see them as inanimate, like rocks, whatever, you know? To me, they're like living creatures. So they're very fascinating creatures to me. I'm, I respect them a lot because it took millennia, or millions of years for them to form and create. So alone that makes me respect them a lot. Uh, do they have healing properties? I don't know. I wish they did. <clears throat> Red Cupid Bolips, adorable little Yoda. <laughs> Tamanamanamus. <laughs> oh my god, the Lego baby Yoda is the best thing I've ever seen. You guys, and I'm going to post uh, an affiliates link to my Amazon thing because this guy oftentimes is on Amazon like for 20 or 25% off. And then it's just, it's really, it's a really fun build and it relaxes you. Just take your time. Don't be too fast with it. 
and it's separate in it's separated in bags you know so you get like i don't know i think it's seven or eight bags so you open bag one you make the first part bag two you attach it to this you know so it's not like all these pieces are all over the place lego has structured it very well it's quite easy to follow the instructions do i have the no i don't but uh and so, and ultimately, it's very satisfying because he's such a lovable little, and I love when he puts his ears down. Oh, my God. I can't. Okay. Uh, uh, Rara says, I love the child. Seeing him in, this, in the first time, I felt a maternal instinct. Me too. At the, at the cost of, of sounding super creepy, I was like, when baby Yoda was revealed the first time, I started lactating immediately. I was like, okay. Adoption, ready, I need to nourish this baby. <laughs> it's like, oh, we're crazy. Radas is cute. Giggity, giggity, grogu, right? Oh my God, you guys. Giggity, 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 giggity. <laughs> baby Yoda is the new baby Groot. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Daniel says, I am not even into Star Wars and I like the baby. He's adorable. Giggity, giggity. Um... Jack Dean says, that picture of Mina on the inside of the album kind of looks like Princess Diana. That picture is from the 70s. And Princess Diana had a similar haircut in the, in the early 80s. So there's a similarity there. Uh, Melly says, I prefer Mina in Italian. Uh, George says, very lovely gifts for you this year. Thank you. Oh my God, Chucky says Melly. I love Bride of Chucky. Tiff is the ultimate babe. I love Bride of Chucky too. It's just a, it's such a misunderstood movie. It touches base on gender in such an intelligent way. And of course, a gay film director had to make it because otherwise that sensitivity to that topic wouldn't be there. But it's not just that. It's also about pop culture, trash culture. I mean, hey, you hire John Waters to have such an incredible appearance in the movie. And then the whole topic is a set of gender and, and then referencing Ed Woods, you know, Glenn or Glenda, and then calling the the son of Chucky or the them of Chucky and Tiffany, Glenn or Glenda, and referencing that pop culturally as well. And then having an actual actress um, acting herself, but also acting Tiffany, being almost like three roles in one movie. Uh, Jennifer Tilly is just amazing what she delivers as an actress in that movie and how those layers of reality all blend in together. It's just, what a wonderful movie. And it's such a shame that a lot of the people of the Chucky community don't give it the time of day when it's the best one from the franchise because it just has the right fun factor and the right seriousness about it. So it's never too heavy to watch. So I go back to it a lot. It's not a heavy type of horror movie that you watch once and you want to see it again because it's like too gory. No, this one is, it's a comedy. It's a horror comedy. So you, it makes you want to watch it over and over again because it's lighthearted enough, even though it is gory, but in a clever way. It's art. I love it so much. Um, I got tons of Chanel makeup, says Melly. Well done, sweetie. George says, that would be a wonderful way for us to send you gift steak or create an Amazon wish list. A wish list. I never thought of that. Oh my God. I should think three steps ahead, right? Yeah. Well, I got him off Amazon, so I don't need him again. But you guys should get him for yourself because look at his little mouth. I can't. I mean. <laughs> he eats his little macaroons. And the eyeballs actually have irises. We don't see it, but there's like a brown circle around the black pupils. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> and of course you can take off the little ball. From the razor crest. He's like, oh, give me back my ball. Okay, take your ball back. You know, he loves his little ball. Oh, no. Oh, Lego fell off. Wait a second, you guys. <laughs> Grogu. Don't be nasty now. No naughtiness here. Okay. Got him. All set. Um, Melly says, I'm getting the baby Lego Yoda. Yeah, Grogu. Um... 
I got tons of Chanel makeup. <laughs> Did you like the new Child's Play? I thought it take on technology was clever. Um, you mean... The new one with Mark Hamill as the voice of Chucky, I liked it. I, I did. I really did. I enjoyed it. I, I definitely did. But I'm really looking forward to Don Mancini's um, Chucky TV show. Now, that hopefully is coming out in 2021. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm getting... Uh, so, I yeah, I read the baby, the child's play. Okay, so you guys, um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, thumb it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already here on the YouTubes. You can also become a member, uh, join the family of the Fashion Bunker and become a member. You get extra perks as a member. Here on the side, you have scrolling all the patrons and the members as well as super chats of today's live stream, by the way. Um, Remember that uh, also on Patreon, you get the perks that you get as a member on YouTube. Except on YouTube, because of the nature of YouTube, when you do become a member, you also get to use special emojis and you get the badge of honor, a little perfume bottle that fills up the longer you stay a member of my channel. Now, you can also follow me on Instagram, Super Decable Spelled Together, but I also have uh, Chanel dedicated profiles that I curate. One is called Coco Chanel is in my house. Um, where I talk about Chanel, the brand of today, the collections, everything that's happening now with Chanel, the brand. And then I also have another Instagram profile called Coco Chanel, is, uh, Coco Chanel Privé, all spelled together. That's where you get to see everything that Coco did during her lifetime while she was alive. So it's only posts related to her life leading up to 1971 January, which is unfortunately the date that she passed away. So I, I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas. Uh, and I hope that by me also, you know, spending time with you guys, posting every day, it's been more than just Vlogmas. It's been Vlogmas and live streaming every Saturday. I hope that uh, this holiday season in 2020, which is a very special year, difficult year, more difficult than other years, perhaps even in many ways. I hope that uh, it made it uh, easier to kind of get through this time. You know, it's almost the end of the year as I'm filming this. and. Uh, I guess like never before, we really um, learned this year that uh, the only way to survive is uh, love, you know? So Baby Yoda and I say goodbye and until next time, never give up on love. See you soon. Take care. Bye.